What is the Sunnah method of ablution? 1. Starting with Bismillah, 2. Washing both hands up to the wrist three times at the beginning of ablution, 3. Gargling and running nose, 4. Blowing water from the nose with the left hand, 5. Water reaching the mouth and nose, water reaching all parts of the mouth by gargling and water reaching most of the surface of the nose, 6. Water entering the nose and mouth with a single hand, 7. To Mizwak, 8. Running fingers through thick beard while washing face, 9. Massage the head, 10. Water reaching fingers and toes, 11. Starting from right hand and right foot, 12. Increase washing face, arms and legs from 1 to 3 times. 13. Reciting Shahada of Kalima after ablution. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allahu wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Meaning, I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and messenger. The merit of reciting it is that the eight doors of paradise will be open for him and he can enter through any door he wishes. 14. Ablution at home. 15. Rubbing or rubbing the parts of the body where water reaches the body while performing ablution, 16. Use water wisely, 17. After performing ablution, perform two rakat prayers, whoever performs ablution as I perform ablution, then prays two rak ahs and does not think about anything during that time, except for matters related to the prayer. His past sins will be forgiven, according to another hadith, paradise will become obligatory for him. A person who performs ablution well in the above rules will be among those mentioned, whoever performs ablution well, sins are shed from his body even from under his fingernails, he will also be included among those who offer two rak hs of prayer after ablution, about whom it is said, whoever among you performs ablution well and prays two rak hs with his face and heart, with joy, paradise will become obligatory for him and his sins will be forgiven.